finish off my sheaves. I thought I'd just do a quick video showing you how I finish the sheaves off. First of all, um, I use a product called, um, oh, there it is, Neats for Oil. 100% pure Neats for Oil. And uh, I give the sheaves a good, uh, a good coating with that. And this, this is a very fine oil, and what this does, this actually um, penetrates into the fibres much deeper uh, and sort of feeds the leather, so the leather gets a good, a good feed and it sort of softens it a little bit. Uh, and then after I've done that, I let that soak in to dry. And then I next use a, a product called Golden Mean Coil. I've also used um, Aussie Leather Conditioner and uh, a few other types of uh, conditioner but they're all sort of a wax waxy based sort of um, product really and I get a dollop on me on my finger these sheaves are, I've already done it with these sheaves actually I've already put it on but just liberally coat the sheaves it it sort of sits on there. It doesn't seem to be absorbed very well at the moment, but we'll come to that in a minute. Uh, I also do my belt danglers the same way. These danglers have had a, a coat of, um, of the mink oil, sorry, of the, uh, the neats for oil, and they're now going to get a liberal application of uh, the, the golden mink oil which is, uh, as I say, it's this, this product here. Um, with your fingers, you can easily work it into all the little nooks and crannies, and particularly the areas where the actual lever bends and flexes. And flexes. It's going to be flexed a lot in the future there, so you want to make sure you really feed that area well. Uh, sorry about any extraneous noises in here at the moment. I got my my daughter's just finished work and she's just come back and she's um, just gone into the other room talking to her mother. So anyway, I'm just going to liberally uh, coat this these danglers and these leather products, and then I'll uh, I'll get back to you shortly. Right, so that's like I've now uh, coated the last of these products. That's it, I've now coated the last of my leather products here, so um, I'm now going to use a hairdryer. And I'm going to heat, heat the leather up and melt that um, waxy mink oil into the, uh, into the leather. Uh, just a bit of a quick warning. My dogs go absolutely my dogs go absolutely mad. They go ape when they hear this thing go in for some reason. of the carnauba cream um, I just pour a little bit into the uh, into the lid then with a sponge just rub it in and when it's actually in its liquid form it just sits there because obviously the sheath's waterproof now but what happens the the warmth in the sheath from the uh, the hair dryer evaporates the the excess moisture in the uh, carnauba cream, and it leaves you with a a very fine coating of this uh, carnauba wax, which enables you to get a nice sheen. Um, there is a more 
quicker way to get you know to get a nice nice finish to your sheaves and that's using resolene but it's kind of instant gratification you get that nice shiny leather look which everyone loves with resolene but the problem with resolene is that it's a product once it's on you can't uh, top up uh, the finish afterwards so to speak because it the resolene seals it's, it's, it's basically seals the leather and it's and it's a um, it's a man-made product it's a man-made I don't know what's it, some sort of a plasticky sort of finish it, it feels like to me and I did use it in the past on some of my earlier sheets but I went away from it because I, as I say it doesn't wear with age very well I don't think and um, you want to be able to uh, to, to, to reapply leather conditioner and finishes to, to the leather work over time. Uh, so I don't favour Vaseline for that reason. Uh, so this is the way that I do it. Finally, once the uh, Carnuba wax has dried on the surface of the, uh, the leather, then I get one of these microfiber cloths and uh, work that and that buffs it up quite nicely. There you can see it's beginning to uh, take on a nice luster. Um, this method of finishing the leather is what um, my friend John Wellings um, on YouTube has shared with me. John's a, a fantastic leather worker. He's got an Etsy shop and make some wonderful leather work, leather craft um, goods. Uh, I'll put a link in the um, description box to to John's um, YouTube channel and his Etsy shop. Uh, I think you'll find him very well worth checking out. So thanks for sharing your ideas with me, John. That's beginning to look really nice. A bit more work. Maybe another coat of Carnuba wax. And, that, and that'll be um, a joy to behold. Mm -hmm.